So this is Randy's model for logistics. How do you learn logistics? Well, what I want you to imagine is Christmas. All the things you do to coordinate Christmas, to deliver gifts and presents and all that, and then we're gonna look at that in terms of how logistics works, right? So when we have logistics in Christmas, we have a store where you go and buy stuff. That's your production line or supplier. You have your home where you store stuff. That's your warehouse. And then you have your family where you need to deliver your Christmas gifts. Now that's your customer. That's your customer. Now your family tells you what they want for Christmas. That's an order coming in. Home, right? Coming to you. And then we go out and place an order with the store. Amazon, local store, whatever it might be. All that, we go place an order here with a production line or the supplier. They make the stuff. We pick it up and then we transport it back home. Where that's receiving, tracking, and inventory. You have an inventory list where you know what you have and tracking. Why is tracking so important? Because if you're like my mother, we have Christmas all year long because she buys things throughout the year and then she puts them in places all over the house and then she forgets where she puts them for Christmas. So that's why you gotta have a tracking system. We call it a locator deck. And then your storage, that's your attic, right? Your warehouse is receiving, you, you know, you get it in, you know what you got, you know your inventory according to your Christmas list. You store it in the attic or somewhere else hidden in the house, right? You got a locator deck, a warehouse management system. It may be a spreadsheet you have at home or something like that. All this kind of works as your warehouse. That's your home, your warehouse receiving and tracking and storage. And then it comes time to deliver for Christmas. Just in time, right? Just like a customer has a deadline, a delivery date. Here we're going to look at timing. When does it need to be there? How much does it cost? and then any damage that we're gonna have there, right? If there's any damage, insurance, they like to make money on the insurance, right? So those considerations we're gonna have when we then transport things to our customer, our family, delivery. And when we delivery, we use a 3PL, 4PL, or 5PL. 3PL would be like the UPS, right? Where they store it, they, they save it, all that good stuff. And then 4PL, we're gonna talk about all these, the 3PL, the 4PL, the 5PL, and the difference between the three. We're gonna talk about that today during our training, okay? And then picking. Picking is when it's time to go for Christmas. You pull out your Christmas list, and then you go through and say, okay, this is where it is. You go to your locator deck, tracking, go in the attic, find the stuff, pull it out, put it in the transportation, send it to UPS, FedEx, whatever it is, they go deliver it to the customer, and then the customer gives us what? Feedback. Feedback, I love it, I wanna keep it, or I don't like it, I wanna return it. And that's reverse logistics, and it comes back all the other way. All this makes sense?